what's up guys today i'll be solving two problems the first problem is smallest range one and today is lead code problem that is smallest range two so in the range one problem we are given an array of size a and what we need to do is for each element of ai we can either add x or subtract x how do we choose x x can be x the range of x is from minus k to plus k and we have to do it in such a way that after processing that this a array becomes another array b and the smallest possible difference between the maximum value of p and the minimum value of p so for this example uh, we add 2 subtract 2 and the new array is 2 and 8 so the largest value is 8 and the minimum value is 2 and our answer is uh, the difference of these two values so and in like in this we can choose whether we want to add 3 in this case or we want to subtract 2 or we want to add 1 to make all the numbers clear now all the numbers same so this is a easy problem as you can see so what I'll be doing is uh, I'll be taking two integers let's call them in and it would be a of 0 here and I'll take a max and it would also be a of 0 here then what I'll do is I'll start a for loop in i equals to 0 to i less than length of a so a dot length and i plus plus then I'll be calculating the minimum as well as the maximum value here so how will I calculate the minimum value I'll first min equals to math dot min of either it is the minimum value itself this or uh, it could be the new value which we are forming so a of i minus k minus k done similarly we will calculate the max either uh, it will be the maximum value wait uh, let's not do this let's not straight away add or subtract anything let's just check what is the minimum and what is the maximum here and uh, what we'll do is uh, here max comma a of i okay now after that since we have our two values what i'll do is i'll check if my min uh, and i add a k to it the k I, i'm not choosing any variable i'll let you know in a second why and if that is greater than equal to my max minus my k then i need to return zero why does this happen so in this case you see i added 3 here that is this k present here so it becomes a 4 and i subtract a 3 from 6 so it becomes a 3 so my answer i can manipulate my x in such a way that i can make of both of them equal to each other because they are in the range the difference of them is less than 3 so that's what this doing is if their difference is less than k if you see that i'll transpose this here and i'll transpose that here if their difference is less than 2k i can make them i can manipulate them in such a way that the difference becomes zero else if their difference is more than this then what i need to do is i need to return some value what can i return now i know this is greater than this uh, I know that for sure because the above loop loop then run and we were asked to visit the lower the else part of the if condition so the condition is false clearly and I'll subtract my min plus k from it and done and done that's all I believe it should run and let's see yeah it's accepted for this let's submit and see um it works fine now mm, let's go to this problem now in this problem it's same but we are given a condition that we can only add minus k or k to it so we can't choose an x so now this solution won't work for the range i'll 
I'll let you know what will work. Now, <clears throat> the first thing we notice is all the arrays that are given to us are sorted, but we can't assume that because there is no mention of this. So what I'll be doing is I'll be sorting arrays dot sort this array first. Then what I'll be doing is I'll be taking two integers again. One is the min and I'll be making it equal to the first element and one is the max and I'll be making it equal to sorry the last element and the last element is a dot length minus one done now what I'll do is in a for loop from i equals to zero and i less than a dot length minus one not one i plus plus now i'll check for a few conditions i'll first i uh, actually i don't need to do that i don't need to declare two variables here what i can do better is i can subtract this and this would be my result let's call it a result and i'll add this and i'll subtract this so zero minus this plus this uh, it's better if i do <laughs> it the convenient way and not the way around okay done now what I want to do here is I want to check for my uh, let's create a min and a max here and max now what I want now first I want to check for my min what can be the minimum either my a of 0 can be the minimum or the number which I am currently on plus 1 minus a this can be the minimum let's check the same for the max what can be max maximum number either my last element which uh, sorry a dot length it's better to copy this completely the element which i considered to be the max element here this or comma the element which i'm currently on and we add k to it but we need to subtract a k from we need to add a k to this and we need to subtract a k from this to give, give these two equal opportunities we can start our loop from one also but it does not matter if we check for zeroth condition also so we are checking for the first the last and the all the consecutive numbers in between now what i want my result to be is it should be the max minimum result so my result will be math dot min of what of the difference of max and min and my result whatever is smaller will be returned here and at the end i would want to return my result there and i hope i haven't spelled anything incorrect there and it works it finished for here if it's length zero it won't even enter the loop and it will simply return zero because we have already initiated this step and accepted so these were the two problems guys and it were they were really simple for today's contest mm. thank you guys